I'm going to talk about my Eddie Bauer Peak 15 jacket. I used this jacket in Greenland for over 35 days and 300 plus miles to trek across Greenland from the east coast to the west coast. Why did I choose Eddie Bauer? That's what I'm going to get into. Now, when you're doing an expedition in the winter, you need a serious winter coat. Minus 30 degrees, 40, 50 knot winds, or 45, 50 mile an hour winds. It's extreme. I mean, the chance of frostbite's pretty high. You can see a couple of the nip marks on my face. They're still there, but it's not bad. But you can see this Eddie Bauer Peak 15 jacket. Let me zip this thing up here. You can probably kind of jack up my microphone, but uh, you'll get through it. This thing is like, the Michelin Man jacket where I can zip this up. I'll zip it up for a moment just to see what it's like. And you can see, I can get this bad boy. I mean, it's like wearing a sleeping bag. This is at least as thick as my <coughs> Western Mountaineering, probably, uh, it's probably as thick as my Western Mountaineering Megalite bag, if not as dense as my antelope bag. Now, why did I choose Eddie Bauer on my Greenland expedition over anything else? Bum -ba -da -dum! Because it works and it's not that expensive. So I bought this Eddie Bauer jacket, and the Peak 15 jacket. How do I say this quick? The Peak 15 jacket, let's just say the Peak 15 jacket. I don't even know, probably 15 years ago. And you can see here, let me show you the back. I am six feet tall and it's wearing just fine. It's super, super fluffy. The moment I put that hood on, I'm hot. I'm cooking, but it was inexpensive. I got it on a uh, Black Friday sale. So instead of four or $500, it was like $250. And man, this thing is super awesome. This is part of my channel is I want to show you the gear that I use is not always the Arcteryx uh, North Face ridiculously expensive stuff. You simply don't need that. Some things you do need. There's no way around that cost. But a lot of times I choose Eddie Bauer because I'm not sponsored by them. I don't get any funds. I pay for this jacket with all my own money. But I'm here to show you that you can actually do a lot of extreme stuff with stuff and gear that's not nearly as expensive as what you're showing in the magazines of, oh gosh, you gotta buy this. So let me talk about this Peak 15 jacket for a moment. You can see here that it's got these nice pockets that I can jam hats or anything in there. It's got an internal pocket, and even way back then, for the people who have to have their earbuds, if you have wired earbuds, it's really good there. It has the uh, zipper inside. This is pretty slick, so you can have an inside zipper. So if you need to keep your camera warm or your phone warm, that is a really nice feature. <clears throat> this pocket is an outside breast pocket, and again, this pocket's not that big. I would have trouble getting my phone in there. But when my phone's outside, it can be a problem. But one of the nice thing is this jacket pocket actually has insulation out. A lot of insulated jackets outside pockets just on the outside nylon shell with no insulation so your phone or your camera freezes. It's worthless. This thing actually has a huge amount of insulation on the outside so it can keep my gear warm. Now one thing I like about this jacket, it has a single, not the double zipper. I don't usually use the double zipper because this jacket is not for meant for me to be trekking. This is not something I would wear up Everest. I would use a down suit and just kind of pee my pants. Oh, by the way, what, what do you think they do when they're climbing Everest and they gotta go pee? Ha ha ha. Right. Now the drawstrings here on the zipper, this comes all the way up and it sucks in my face and the drawstrings pull out and they just, uh, where's the lock here? Oh yeah, yeah, right there. I mean, the lock is so easy to use, so easy to pull up. It's got the draw cord on the back, so depending on how big your head is, but you don't want to squish it. All right, so uh, let me stop muffling the mic there. Sorry about that. But I just want to show you for a $250 jacket, I literally could sit in my tent in Greenland when the sun went down it was minus 40 degrees out raging 70 80 90 mile an hour phase two Pitarac winds and this jacket like comfortable no problem I mean granted I still have my wool shirt on I still have my fleece on but this Eddie Bauer peak 15 jacket 
totally got the job done and it is not ridiculously expensive and that's the most important thing is it performs it performs well uh, the uh, first descent gear is incredible and it's simply not expensive so i just wanted to show you that a peak 15 jacket like this at 8 a bauer check it out especially if there's some black friday sale or whatever they always have sales some of their stores carry first to send gear and you can get an incredible jacket where like i've worn this jacket standing on denali at 14,000 feet raging blizzard no problem like just sitting there <laughs> Super, super easy. So that's what I want to show in this series about my Greenland gear that I brought to Greenland. Check it out, aaronlinsdu.com slash Greenland. That way you too can learn about the gear that I used in Greenland. And that way you too can have a great time in cold conditions or wherever you might be without spinning the big ka -ching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.